Greetings, my name is Tim. Thank you for tuning in and watching my channel on YouTube and watching my other videos. Um, please tune in and rate all my videos on my YouTube channel. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me via uh, YouTube or how do I do this 01 at yahoo.com. Um, please enjoy these videos. I hope they're beneficial to you. Um, today we're going to cover why do I keep getting disconnected from Yahoo Messenger or in some cases other programs. We're going to cover just the Yahoo issue today, but these issues that we're going to address today will be universal for other programs as well. Um, you do want to check, um, in this case, settings, but let's start with uh, some of the most common reasons or, or less common reasons and what you should be checking if you're constantly having an issue with um, having your computer disconnect you from the internet or disconnect you through Yahoo Messenger. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, what you want to do is you want to open up your Yahoo Messenger window. Now, I pulled up a picture here. Um, your main Yahoo was Messenger window is going to look something like this at the top. And your Messenger is your menu drop-down for the main win window in Yahoo Messenger. Um, in order to get to your preferences, you want to have your main Yahoo Messenger window open. Click on Messenger, and this will drop down your your uh, first drop-down menu, at which time you'll find your preferences. Um, once you get down to your preferences window here, you will see the on the left-hand side, you will see an option drop-down as well in your general preferences, and we'll cover those in just a minute here. Anyway, I want to address a couple of issues first, and you do want to at least take a cursory or, or a short look at these other things first, and then go ahead and try doing this. This is probably going to be the most common reason why your computer is disconnecting you from the Internet, or seemingly from the Internet. If you are, in fact, experiencing issues with your Internet connection, um, we'll go ahead and check these other things first. Um, one of the main reasons you're going to get disconnected is going to be the Yahoo Messenger settings. Um, the main thing that you're going to want to check if you're actually getting disconnected from your, from your Internet service provider or the computer will not stay online would be viruses, malware, or in some cases hackers. Um, you do need to be aware of this. Um, viruses and malware are very well, actually, viruses, malware, and hackers are very passive. They don't just pop up and say, here I am. So you will normally notice the computer's doing something strange. Um, in the case of just disconnecting from the Internet, that's not so strange. Um, covering the settings is something that you'll notice. Also, um, you're certainly going to want to check um, your ISP. If you are being disconnected from the Internet, not just the Yahoo Messenger program. If you're being disconnected from the Internet and you can't figure out why at, at a personal level at your home, you do want to check with your Internet service provider. Sometimes they're doing maintenance. Sometimes they're doing upgrades. Um, this is probably not that common, but they do have, they do have this issue come up. I've had it happen a few times. Um, anyway, let's move on to the next main issue here, which is your Yahoo preferences. Um, going back here to the Yahoo window, um, your preferences window, you've got several drop-downs. The one we're going to be concerned with today is your general preferences. Um, one of the items on this list is, in particular, is the reason why you're probably getting disconnected. But we'll get to that shortly. Let me go ahead and pop the window up just to show you how to get here. Hopefully this is visible to you. Um, on your little smiley here, if you have it down by your clock, in this case it's over on the left, in your case it'll be right next to your clock. You click on your smiley. This brings up your main Yahoo Messenger window. And from there you can click Messenger, uh, the main menu drop-down um, Messenger. You can access this through um, this menu, or you can, with this menu, um, with this window active, you can click your preferences by hitting Control, Shift, and P, and in which case you will get this drop down here. 
Now before we get into the main reason we're covering this on the settings, is I did want to cover this just quickly. Um, your connection. Okay, your connection can also make a difference. Um, please make a note of what type of connection you have at your home. Um, please check and make sure that these settings are correct because this will also cause a problem. Make sure that you're connected directly to the internet. You're either using broadband, dial-up, or high speed. Um, DSL cable is the most common. Um, dial-up can cause problems with disconnecting because the phone company can periodically drop you off um, in the case of a dial-up connection. Also make sure if you're using a proxy server that those settings are correct. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to the main reason that we're dealing with this. I have broken this down a little bit better so you guys hopefully can see this. In the main general preferences window on your general tab, now these are all tabs for each area of, of Yahoo Messenger. What we're going to be concerned with here is just the general tab for the issues we're dealing with. Um, uh, the reason I'm covering some of these other ones just briefly is to, is to not only cover the issue of being disconnected, but why you want them or don't want them checked or why you want them active or not active for, for your preferences. Um, automatically start Yahoo Messenger. Um, generally speaking, I don't start Yahoo Messenger with my computer because it's just something running in the background. It does tend to make things run slower. Um, salesmen will tell you, oh, our program will make it work faster, but the reality of it is the more programs you have running on your computer, the slower the computer's going to run. Um, you're using more resources. You're just, it's, it's a no-win scenario if you're running your, you know, 50 programs and you're only using one program at a time or two programs at a time. The other 48 that you're running aren't going to make any difference except slowing things down. So anyway, I would make sure that that checkbox is unchecked. Um, now here's another issue or another one. When you sign into Messenger, um, it says uh, stand by and wait to connect to the Internet. Well, if you've already connected to the Internet and you're trying to start up your Yahoo Messenger program, that kind of defeats the purpose of this checkbox. Um, stand by and wait until I connect to the Internet. Well, you should already be on the Internet, so that's kind of a useless, um, a useless checkbox. So make sure that there's no check in there. Also, show Yahoo Messenger Insider hate to tell you, but it's nothing more than a tool. I haven't found any real use for it, except it starts opening up things, and when it does, if the settings that we're going to deal with here briefly, or shortly here, um, are checked, then you're going to have problems, because this is a surefire way to put you into a quick loop and make your computer keep disconnecting from the Internet, or at least from Yahoo. Okay, let's go ahead. 80% of the reason um, you're going to have problems is going to be these settings right here. Um, now, the Messenger Insider, I don't use it because it's just a sales tool. Um, keep your Messenger on top when you're using other applications. Um, quite honestly, that's why they give you the Start menu bar. You can pop in between these. Um, if I'm chatting with somebody and I have something I'm working on, if it stays on top, it's going to be getting in the way of what I'm doing. So generally, I don't have that checked. Um, let's go ahead. Here's where your trouble's going to start. Okay, This is going to be the main reason why you're having a, a consistent problem with staying online. Automatically sign me in when I click on a link in Messenger. If you click on a link and you're already signed in, it's going to sign you out then it's going to re-sign you back in. Hence the reason why you're disconnecting. Make sure this checkbox is empty. If it's checked, you're going to be having it disconnect and reconnect. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please rate it. Um, and thanks again for your time.